Joseph, YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Tisha Z. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Husband watches another man viciously buzz his woman's cheeks right in front of him, and their relationship has never been the same. Listen, I hope you've got a coffee in hand because you're going to want to sit down for this one. Let's get it. Ever since my husband, 44 male, and I, 40 female, mm -hmm. had a four-way with his colleague, 32 female, and her husband, 38 male, my husband has been out of sort and downhearted. Mm. My husband got this new colleague about a year ago. At the beginning, I wasn't too worried about it, even if he was talking about her more than his other colleagues. Okay. She's awesome, cool, funny, you name it. I met her and her husband at the Christmas party, and she was very outgoing and friendly, especially with my husband. After the party, I asked my husband if there was something between them, and he denied it. I've never had any reasons to distrust him before. I feel like I'm an awesome wife, too, and I assume that if he ever found himself to be unhappy with me, he would tell me and move on. Uh -huh. Anyway, a few days after my conversation with him about his colleague, my husband confessed that he wanted a swinger-like thing with his colleague and her husband. <laughs> He said that she approached him with this proposition a few days before the Christmas party and that he had been thinking about it ever since. Mm -hmm. hmm. He agreed to her and they both decided that they would talk to this, their significant other. So she talked to her husband and my husband spoke to me. I felt all the air leave my body while he was telling me this. He saw my despair, so he assured and reassured me that they hadn't done anything and that he wanted me there too and that he loved me. Communication is great. Sounds like great communication so far. Let's keep listening. I don't know why I relented and agreed. Probably because I love my husband and I didn't want to end our marriage. But I did, and I started Googling swingers. It turned out that he, what he and his colleague wanted wasn't a swinging thing, but rather a four-way. Mm. The colleague had fantasies about her husband watching her be with other people, and my husband probably just wanted to sleep with her without calling it cheating. That's absolutely what's going on. Okay. They made a group chat for the four of us. And I noticed that my husband and his colleague were the driving force and me and her husband were the reluctant participants. Mm. I later asked the husband why he relented. And he said, just like me, he didn't want to lose her in their marriage. I tried to mentally and physically prepare myself. D-Day was a month ago. D-Day. <laughs> Funny. It was a month ago. It felt like my husband and his colleague were in their right element from the get-go, and they seemed like they got the hang of it. Okay. I was very reserved, and I actually didn't know what to do. No amount of reading could have prepared me for what to do. The husband, however, noticed that I was really shy, and he started to make me comfortable. He just started to compliment me and tell me how beautiful I was. Mm -hmm. By then, I was ready to get. I was ready to rid myself of the embarrassment and just enjoy it. By the end, I noticed that both my husband and his colleague were irritated. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what y'all get with you. Let's <sighs> keep, keep listening, man. From what I understood before everything, they were supposed to be, it was supposed to be a whole evening slash night thing. But my husband just told them that we were leaving and we left after one session, kind of. Oh, no. Listen. <laughs> Yo, hold on, man. This shit's painful. It's pain. This is painful, man. This is painful for me to go on. Golly. Not them trying to con their significant others into sleeping together so they could sleep together and then being mad that these people had a connection. <laughs> this was a bad night for those two, especially the husband. What was going on over there? Mercy. Let's keep listening. I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Since then, my husband has been upset and unusually quiet. Yeah, his brain is kicking his mother. <laughs> Very distant, even when we're intimate. <laughs> yeah. Even though he wants it every day now, and sometimes more than once, he's competing with that man in his head. Damn. He watched that man do things to his wife that he don't do. Mercy. And he is upset about it. Listen, listen. I mean, is that even your wife anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Is that your wife anymore? Take back the ring, bro. Give it's over. I couldn't. Hey, some some people like like the swinger shit. You know, some people really are into this. But at that point, man, that's your wife. You can you can have her. She obviously she obviously belongs to you. Here's why that man performed better than that woman's husband. I'm gonna tell you exactly what he was doing here. What he had that made him more attractive when she looked his way. It was. Sponsor of today's video, Tish Henley.
T-Channeling is the number one skincare product I trust to keep my skin smooth and clear. I've tried a bunch of other products in the past, but T-Channeling works perfect for me. Listen, I know there's so much out there to choose from, so much confusion, but take it from me, Teach Handling makes skincare uncomplicated. So I recommend you start out with their level one system, which comes with all their basics. A daily face wash to get rid of all the dirt and grime on your skin. A two times per week exfoliation scrub to get rid of all the dead skin cells. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always protect your skin from the sun. Yes, moisturizer with sunscreen is important even for my melanated people. And a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay healthy and hydrated throughout the night. My favorite part about t Channel is that every box comes with this easy to follow instructional card which tells you what products to use, how much, and when. And like I said, they truly make achieving healthier and better looking skin uncomplicated. Seriously guys, t Channel has leveled up my skincare routine. But don't just take my word for it. Check out these reviews from other real people. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews from other satisfied customers. In addition to Amazing Skin, members of T-Channel get tons of benefits, including 20% off of retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive monthly deals, pause and cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because T-Channel is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link in the description or the pinned comment and you get 30% off your first box and a free gift. Don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click the link and get started today. All right, guys, welcome back. Let's get back into this crazy story, man, and check out some of these comments to see what the people have to say. Let's get. He's upset. That's what he get. He asked me what the man was, <laughs> what the man was whispering that made me so happy. And if I had a good time, I had the best of my life, baby. We should do it again. Damn. I'm so glad you suggested this. We should do it again. I actually call him. You know what? Where my phone? Where my phone? I said that I did my best to please him, and yes, that I enjoyed it. Did you expect me not to? Like, genuinely, did you? Imagine your wife telling you that she did her... <laughs> Imagine your wife telling you, I did my best to please that man. Gosh. <laughs> Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to. I have to. I have to. I can only do this sparingly, but you know, some of you know what I'm about to do right now. This coffee smells like shit. This coffee smells like shit. Let's keep listening. You expect me not to for the sake of your ego? I had a good time, but it was all for him. If it was up to me that I would have never even suggested this to begin with. He insisted that I ignored him during, but I didn't. He was just busy with her. Nah, she ignored that man. He was balls deep. Her mind was gone. She ignored that man. They had to wake him up from a trance. Like, hey, 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 guys, get. <laughs> We're here too. Let's keep watching. And they bo both joined us after a while. Worst of all, he keeps asking if the husband was better than him. Damn. It's mental up. If he made me feel better and no answer is ever good enough. Oh, I am enjoying this too much. The worst part is the abusive text I get from the colleague. Oh, beat up. Get beat up. Calling me old and ugly and desperate for attention that I ruined her marriage. I told my husband about the text and he said that she had the right in feeling that way because her husband and I ignored them like they weren't even there. That we were so consumed by each other, there was nothing around us. His words, not mine. Mercy. That we forgot it was supposed to be all four of us together. I don't know what to do now. I don't know the rules and I just acted on my natural feelings. I didn't find anywhere either that there were rules in this game. I'm grateful that the husband was sweet and comforting. I felt safe with him and I thought this is how it was supposed to be. I feel safe and enjoy the experience. If I had done anything wrong, just tell me so I can make it right with my husband and even with his colleague. Oh, it's over. I'm enjoying this man's misery way too much. But like, honestly, like, did they really just expect you guys to do nothing? So like OP in the comments said that um, the colleague and the husband were super comfortable. Like they had a couple drinks and immediately went at it, you know, and that the only time her husband even initiated anything to her was to pull her to him while he was making out with the colleague. Like the husband wanted to have his cake and eat it too. Like that's really what it was. I want to be with her. So it's not cheating but I really don't want him to touch my wife. And when it happened, both these clowns over here that just wanted to not cheat 
got mad. How do you like it? How do you like it? Don't like it, huh? Hmm. Oh, man. As always, man, we're going to check out some of these comments to see what the people have to say. Because here's, here's something interesting about these comments is how much these women were just celebrating the fact that there, there was a man who was just in a situation where, you know, he's watching his woman get pounded by some other, some other guy. It just brought him all joy, man. This is crazy. First comment here says, the op and the colleague husband need to divorce their prospective spouses to try a thing together. <laughs> The laughing emojis another person here added to the conversation her husband never gave a single thought about if she would or wouldn't enjoy herself that is true i remember reading a comment on another video actually where a guy said you know the whole swinger thing is kind of like a laugh now cry later situation it's all fun and games until you see a man do things to your woman that you've never done <laughs> you start questioning yourself it's time to go bro it's time to go kick rocks fast, not slow. Next comment here says, he looked over and that man was beating down his queen. <laughs> um, another woman here added, they always suggest it, then get mad after. So yeah, guys, here's your sign. Um, maybe you want to rethink that. Another comment here from another woman says, that husband threw up and cried himself to sleep after that. Next comment here says, and the colleague is irritated because ops husband sucked with laughing emojis but she thought she was getting the better deal someone responded back to the woman responded back to that chick and said laughing emojis that's what she gets next comment here from another chick says i'm weak because my husband and colleague were both looking like he's never done that to me and she's never sounded like that for me good times yeah so there were two things going on here it was both of those colleagues looking over and seeing what they had never seen before in their own sex lives another comment here says thought they found a loophole to cheat and it backfired on them 3k plus likes another comment here from another woman says me the next morning boy we had a time last night <laughs> petty with the laughing emojis and the creator sent laughing emojis back another comment here from another woman says i need her to come back and say she pregnant by the colleague husband to end the story whoa man brutal relax Next comment says, I would have replied to the colleague, don't be mad your husband beat it up and my husband sucked. <laughs> another comment says, <laughs> another comment says, at this, <laughs> you know, these comments are ruthless. Another comment says, at this point, she should keep seeing the guy. Another person added, he watched that man reach his wife's soul and don't know what to do now, LMAO. <laughs> Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Drink the coffee, and in this case, I actually don't know if it will make you feel better. Uh, my solution, burn the house down. Not literally, but you know what I mean. As always, curious to know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.